Dex got an offshore account and Brick found it. Brick found it. I feel like Dex know that he's been investigated because the way he looked at when they was at the bar. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review with Life with Chesley for General Hospital February 9, 2024. Okay, so look. <laughs> Dex know Brick don't like him. I think he's always known. But when he was talking to him and he kept, they kept exchanging words or whatever, playing it off. But the way Dex looked, I said he, he knows something. But okay, on this episode, might as well start with Sunny. So Agent John came in. They kept going back and forth. Who is Karen? They was talking about something about Karen. Uh, Agent John was married to, and they both said something about cheating. I guess Agent John cheated, and then they was talking about who wronged who, and they they kept going back and forth. And I said, who is Karen? I know a lot of people was talking about uh, Agent John Jagger or whatever. Somebody else used to play his role. But Agent John tried to get Sonny to tell what he know. I said, now you knew you wasn't getting no information out of him. And I ain't going to front. At first, I thought Sonny was going to say, well, Sonny doesn't know anything. He know that it's a possibility that it's somebody within his organization or whatever. But that's about it, right? I mean, everything that he knows, they know, right? I don't know. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like the only thing is that it's somebody within the organization. But then Agent John was like, it's somebody who in the organization, too. I don't know if he said that because, you know, they was talking about it at the police station. Brick and Jordan was at the Savoy together, and he was telling her, basically, she only out with him because she owed him a favor, and she was like, that's partially true. Do y'all think, I feel like she seen him looking at Dix. I think she gonna pick up on the fact that he suspects Dix. I said, I know one thing, they better figure out if it's actually Dix before they go doing something they can't take back. But I said, look, it would be interesting to see that plot twist that Michael fell for, that this was Dix playing the entire time. But y'all let me know down below what y'all think. Do y'all think it's actually Dex? Do y'all think it's a possibility that it's Brick? That's why he's trying to blame Dex. And that's why he's been after Dex this whole time. Or do y'all think this is what they said about Jason being brainwashed? Because they kept saying, hey, it was somebody within the organization. And the only people we really see is Dex, Brick, and, you know, Jason. But, you know, he's been off the show. But they said he returns next month. I think they said March the 4th, either the 3rd or the 4th. I forgot. Well, yeah, or is it somebody else? But yeah, I was just thinking about all the people that we actually see. And I'm the only people. They're the only people I feel like. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like Jordan definitely noticed that uh, Brick was staring at Dex and watching him. But yeah, he pulled out that card. And I was like, Brick trying to memorize his card number. But he already got the information. He came in and told Sonny that Dex got an offshore account. So now they're gearing towards telling that Michael hired him to get information on Sonny for the FBI. But then backed out and then decided to hire Dex to, um, you know, watch out for him. He ain't done no good job. <laughs> I mean, he did a good job because, you know, they didn't actually get him. Carly Drew was confident in Jocelyn because she was about to post about Spencer, post all the pictures. And, you know, she didn't want to do it because she was thinking about how Trina will react and Laura and everything. And they basically told her everything will be okay. But once she posted, Trina uh, loved it and everything. And when she loved, they started talking about Nina. Before we get into that part, I want to ask y'all, what y'all think is going to happen with Drew? Because they keep talking about he's changed, he's not the same, he's doing this, he's doing that, or whatever. Even Willow now, Willow was telling Michael about who he is now and how he acts now. So I said, what they finna do to him? I don't know. I haven't heard anything yet. Yeah, before they started talking about Nina, they was talking about Crimson. He was trying to get her to basically reconsider about staying on for good, and she was saying she don't know. Then he was like, this is exactly why I want Michael to reconsider. And she was like, reconsider what? So... He ended up telling her, and she told him She told him that she just wants to move on. She don't want to focus on Nina. And she told him if he want her to stay on the council, he got to leave Nina alone. He agrees to pause it. He don't agree to leave her alone. He said pause. <laughs> I said, he said pause. You know what pause means? Pause means for right now, but that means you, gonna, you can start back at any point. Pause means you can start back at any point. <laughs> then on Monday's uh, episode, Nina and Drew going at it again. But I liked how Carly brought up what happened with Nina because they be acting like, look, what sense do it make? I don't understand. I never understand. That's why I didn't understand why Nina did what she did. If you, if these people done did what you say they did and kept um, you away from both your daughters and all this stuff and you seen how close your daughter is to them, wouldn't the best thing to do is at least pretend like you're going to get along, to <laughs> go along and get along, whatever, so you can get your daughter she decides to do the complete opposite. Let these folks win. And she still ain't learned her lesson. She still hasn't learned her lesson. Y'all not try to always see both sides of things. So I was saying Carly. That's why I was saying Carly and Nina the same. Except right now, Carly has decided to let it go. But Nina's still on the same thing. Drew's still on the same thing or whatever. So I was I wonder what they building for Drew's storyline. But yeah, I was like, Carly brought up a good point. She said, look at what happened with Nina. 
we might as well go with Willow and Michael. I feel like we talked about them enough because there's too much going on. Um, he wants to know if he's just staying for the night or if he's coming back for good. She said she don't know. She's not ready. She's not ready yet. And I said, either you're going to forgive him. Like, y'all know they like to bring other people on the show. And then next thing you know, they don't hook this person up with this person or something else. Well, yeah, she ended up talking about you, like I said before, about him changing and how he acting. And I think the last thing is Cody now. So, Cody was trying to hook Spinelli and Macy up, so they had the little axe throwing thing. I think they got that for real, don't they? The little axe throwing thing? I think they also got that other thing where you hit stuff with the hammer. But, yeah, it was Spinelli, Macy, Cody, Sasha. So, they all, look. <laughs> um, Cody and Sasha still denying their feelings or whatever. And I said, come on now. The storyline going to be still by the time. By the time they actually do it, I understand. But at the same time, come on, y'all, again, y'all know they like to bring other people in the picture. But Cody has this plan to try to get Spinelli and Maxie together. He trying to lose on purpose so they could have a date together. Spinelli's talking about, no, we just this and that. And I said, he better hope that Maxie feel the same way. So far, she haven't said anything. She did tell Spinelli that it's been nice have, having him there. But she, that doesn't mean nothing. She might just want to be co-parents or whatever Cause y'all know she has, he has always had feelings for her, deep feelings in love with her, or whatever. But she's kind of wishy washy. I don't know. When I was younger, I watched it and she was wishy washy. Now I don't know what's happened since then. But yeah, that's all that happened with them. Everybody denying their feelings for each other. But we'll see. I think that's everything. Dex and Jocelyn went got in the bed together, <laughs> whatever. And Michael on the preview for Monday's episode telling about Sonny saying that somebody within the organization is after him or whatever. And again, I say. The only people we actually see within the organization is Dex, Brick, um, and Jason. But Jason, is, he coming back. So do y'all think it's actually Jason? I was like, man, I'm so sick of this brainwashing and the memory loss stuff. But yeah, that's it, y'all. That's all that really happened. Let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Who do y'all think is out the sunny? Until next time, do sit, have a great rest of the day. A great weekend and be safe.